Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here for you with the one who got it. If you are new here, comment, like, and subscribe. We tell you to comment, like, and subscribe here. It's hard for you with the one who got it. I don't know what's going on with my mouth. It's a little toasted, but I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so we're going to find out what's going on. But it says, at times, wait, at times the world doesn't seem like a safe place to live. At times it feels like more people are against you than for you. Don't despair, I plant you a safe place. So, even though the world may seem chaotic and not trustworthy, God has a safe place for you that he's planning for you. When you're going through, like, hard times or whatever, remember to depend on God and know that he's there for you. Don't really too much depend on people. Um, don't tell people your secrets because they will use it against you. That's what God said in his word. People are against you. I get, People are against you than for you. You know, people be your friends today and turn on you tomorrow. God will never, you know, I'm saying, like, be there for you and then turn on you tomorrow. If God's there for you today, he's going to be there for you tomorrow. He's not going to just sit up there and say to you, oh, well, I'm not going to be here for you anymore. You know, you made me mad or whatever the case is. He's not going to do those things. So he's not going to, you know, turn a cheek and be like, well, I don't want to talk to you no more. He ain't doing none of that. Your friends do that. The people you around do that. But he don't do that. That's why basically I cut people out of my life that, that do that type of stuff. That be like, oh, well, I don't want to talk to you this day. This day, I don't want to talk to you that day. You know, they just pick and choose when they want to talk to you. I cut them off because at the end of the day, if you're affecting my peace, which they were affecting my peace. I had to cut them out. So if you affected my peace in any form or any way or any day, it's like you got to go. You got to go because my peace is more important than having people in my life that's affecting my peace. So you got to go. If you're causing me, Kate, if you're causing me bad times, if, if you're causing me bad energy, you got to go. So that's why I cut off a lot of people. And I didn't give no warning signs. I didn't say, well, you did this to me. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. Because I'm not the type of person to give no warning signs to anybody. I'm not. So, you know, we're just not going to communicate anymore. And I've made that decision. You know, I made that decision to not co to communicate because you were toxic and I seen you are toxic. You were draining me and I seen that you were draining me and now you have to go. So, I'm not going to put up with it. And the more that I cut people out of my life, I've been getting blessed left to right. So, it's like I'm not going to keep on, you know what I'm saying, keep keep people in my life that don't want to see me get to the top or want to see me get to the top but be hating, you know. You know, they just don't want to see me win. They don't want to see me win. So you got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to let people go. You got to let them go. Don't get them no more sass. Don't get them no name. They know what they did was wrong. You know, I can't support my life. Well, I don't care no more. It's like, I don't care. I don't want to hear what you have to say no more. What, when I try to talk, it's like, you didn't hear what I had to say, so why should I sit upon you? I hope you had to say, especially if you were very rude to me. No, I'm not going to sit there and, you know what I'm saying, and listen. Because at the point of it all, I tried and, you know, it didn't work out. So, that's fine. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't trust people. Um, you know, people will turn on you. Like I said, people will turn on you. People are not your friend for real. And they will show you in many ways. You have to pay attention. That's why God gives you discernment. God already told me who my friends were. God already told me who's for me and who's not for me. So at the end of the day, I pay attention to those signs. And he knows that I cut them people out of my life. He knows I did that. And I told him I was going to do it anyway. I said, this person is, cause, uh, is not, you know, making me happy. This person is making me angry. This person is making me sad. They got to go. So... You know, sorry but not sorry. If you're affecting my peace in any way or you're causing me to be upset, you got to go. Because at the end of the day, stress can kill you and I'm not going to die because you want to be into it. No. If anything, I have to, you know, protect my peace. And if you leave in my life as protecting my peace, that, that will sit with me. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you got to you gotta know who's bringing you happiness. You got to know who's bringing you sadness. You got to... You got to pick. Do you want to live a sad life? Or do you want to live a happy life? I prefer to live a happy life. So I have to let people go. And those people, some of them I didn't want to let go. But at the end of the day, they're causing me stress. And I can't be stressing about nothing. I'm not supposed to stress about nothing. So, with that being said, you know, 
Um, the world is not a safe place. The world is not. The world is not. People are not. People can be your friend today, like I said. They can be your family today, like I said. And they can turn on you within, you know, two hours later or one hour later. They can turn on you or 15 seconds later. You know, it doesn't have a time frame ready for real. People can turn on you anytime they want to turn. But at the end of the day, God will never turn on you. God will never leave your side. God will never sit there and, you know, talk about you or talk crazy to you or make you upset. You know, he will never do those things. God is super nice and God really cares for you. So at the end of the day, tell God, like, these people are not men for my life. You know what I'm saying? You got to be bully honest and you got to tell him, like, these people are not meant for me. And I know they're not meant for me because they're causing me stress. They got to go. Whether you want to or not. And if you don't let them go, God will help you to let them go. Because it was some people I didn't want to let go. Like I said, it was some people I didn't want to let go, but I had to. I had, I didn't, it was hard for me to do, but I had to do it. It's causing me stress. I'm not finna do that. This year is almost out. I'm not finna have nobody in my life that's stressing me. So you know you got people in your life stress you left to right, here to death. They got to go. They got to go because at the end of the day, if you're not happy, that's an issue within the self. You're not happy. They got to go. So, yeah. I hope you guys all took the video. And if you did, give a big thumbs up. And also, comment, like, and subscribe here too as well. Like I said, um, come back for part two. Like I said, I am going to the dentist. My dentist appointment is tomorrow. I got to see what's going on with my mouth because it's not... It doesn't hurt, but it's like I know it's something going on in there. So, I'm going to get that checked out tomorrow as well. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. And I hope you guys understood the video. Let me know that in the comments if you guys understood the video. Let me know if you have any concerns, comments, questions, anything of that nature. Comment down in the box and let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.